Let's talk about one of my favorite stress relief techniques, and that is massage. Now, there's this whole uh, interesting mind-body feedback loop that happens for all of us. So we talked about how when you're holding stressful thoughts in your mind, your body goes into this sort of fight or flight response. And uh, this whole series of things happens, right? Your heart rate speeds up, your blood pressure tends to go up, your breathing changes, the blood and energy are diverted away from your internal organs towards your larger muscles. You also have a tendency to sort of tighten those muscles. It's almost like we kind of do this thing where we're, we're sort of curling up into a little self-protected ball. Like we're almost going into this fetal position when we're afraid. And all that tension and stress really builds up in your body and can cause pain and discomfort. But beyond that, releasing the pain and discomfort from your body also helps release it from your mind. So it's, they've actually done studies where they've proven that it's harder to hold stressful thoughts in your mind when your body is totally loose, limp, and relaxed. In fact, one of the biggest uh, tools that I use in hypnosis is actually teaching people how to release tension in their bodies, kind of walking them through this little process of how to do it. But massage does that for you too. And so when you go, especially if you can get a professional massage, if you at all can do that, it really does make a difference. Uh, working with a pro you know, they're, they're trained to do this. They're trained to release that tension and they're trained in, you know, if you get a good massage therapist, they know where to look for the tension. They know where stuff's going to show up in your body. And there's this sort of intuitive process that happens. Uh, and it, it's just amazing. Um, but when you release it from your body, it, like I say, it really helps release it from your mind. So there's, it's either way in the feedback loop that you're working, whether you're working on the mind it's affecting the body, or whether you're working on the body, it's affecting the mind. Now, if you work both of them together, that's even better. So um, obviously, I'm a big pro proponent of both massage and hypnosis. I think they're both amazing, but there's other mind-body stuff that you can do too. Um, and we'll talk about some of that, like yoga, for instance. Um, but wherever you working on both your mind and your body, they're, they're both going to help each other because it's this, this loop. It's your, your mind and your body are connected, right? Or they're, they're, I don't even know if they're separate to where they could be connected, if that makes sense. They're, they're sort of one, but they're sort of separate too. It's, it's hard to explain, but your mind and your body are so connected. They, Either one affects the other very deeply. So if you can release tension in one, you're going to release tension in the other.